What's up, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Yoga Man, and today I'm gonna to be hiking a uh, flat top right up there, we're at the backside with Walker. I got, yeah. <laughs> as you can see, he's got sleds. We got our sleds and I'm taking my drone, hopefully get some really cool shots. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so we're like, I'd say we're two, two thirds of the way up. It's yeah. super, super fucking windy. Yeah. The same. drone is like definitely a no go. And this one thing I really want to do is definitely a no go. And we're like, all right, the snow's not that great places. Like right here is kind of good. Like we found this decent run to sled down, but most other areas are kind of shitty. So uh, we're planning on going down right now. Hopefully at least the sledding will be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Radical. Audacious Brad. Can't really use these sleds before, so not exactly sure. This is kind of icy too. Start on us. And... Oh damn. Oh, oh, that's really icy. I thought that was good. That felt really slick, even though it's sliding sideways. Look at my I did that. Oh, shit, yeah, dude. Oh, it's actually pretty sick! It's just fucking sick! Oh no! So everything you guys just saw, that was on Saturday. Today is Tuesday. I am back at the, the trailhead for peak two and peak three for redemption because we didn't really give it a walk and I didn't really hike up very high. But uh, as you can see, today is absolutely beautiful. I'm wearing a t-shirt right now. It is super clear, super sunny. There's like no wind. So I brought my quadcopter as you guys can see. So hopefully I'll be able to get some really cool quadcopter shots. So yeah, the journey continues. All right, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but right, right down there in that crevasse, that is where uh, Walker and I were sledding on Saturday. And you could probably tell by, uh, by our reactions. It was, it was pretty fun. It was better than what we were expecting. The pitch in your arms will meander, but I will wait for you. There's nothing left for me to do than run and act myself a fool. No point in trusting anyone. Your eyes are 
So I am on the top of Peak 2, as you guys can see, the view is spectacular. So right there, that is flat top, behind flat top is Anchorage, and there's not too much wind, but there's this tiny little breeze that is just, it, it, it brings that cold back, even though the sun is super nice and warm. So I think I'm going to be getting out my... Uh, my nice warm jacket now. All right, so my original plan was to go to peak three, which I really do still wanna to go to peak three, but because I wanna fly my quadcopter uh, and it's currently 440, I'm just not sure if it's a good idea to do that right now, today. So yeah, I think I'm gonna fly my quadcopter. Also, I saw this thing on the internet. It's uh, This guy made this thing called a Centrifoon or Centra, Centra iPhone, something like that. I'll be sure to put his name here and all of his links down below. But I saw this where he pretty much, he took his phone and the string and he spun it around really fast and he had been filming at a really high frame rate and he went skiing with it and it got this really amazing like spinning around view and it looked super cool. So I made this thing for my GoPro. Here, I'll show you guys. This, it's pretty much my GoPro mounts onto this piece here. And then I have this right here with the string. I'm actually using fishing line. I think I'm using like 80 pound tests. So I don't need to worry about uh, the fishing line breaking and having my uh, GoPro go flying off. So I don't know how well the spinning thing worked. I think a lot of the times it just started spinning around really fast. Um, but look at this, the sun is starting to set. It is about 5.20 right now. So now begins the fun part, going down. Mm -hmm. 